a recent example of how our data has been has been useful to uh, to other people through uh, through the Edinburgh Data Share is an inquiry from the uh, Australian Broadcasting Corporation, who are making uh, a documentary about refugees from South Sudan in uh, in Australia, and who are using our song collection as uh, as as background music for it, and so that is something we we never thought of uh, of the material being used for. We we had thought of of the language community using it, and 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 yeah, we we find that that uh, Shiluk people. So Shiluk is the name of the language that I'm studying in the diaspora, for example, in the United States, in in other countries, and also in South Sudan, are accessing these songs because they are part of their heritage. And so all, all of these uses is is, uh, is welcome and and makes it makes it worthwhile to uh, to do the research. When you're investigating a minority language, as I'm doing, uh, research on it is is sparse. So the the next researcher investigating the language in depth, well, that might be in fifty years time. That might be in a hundred years time. So there, because the yeah, the rate here is is uh, is so slow. Then documenting uh, each phase of research of the language is, is is very important. So you so you have fields where where there's a very intense turnover and progression, and then yeah, then there is a lot of kind of the the memory of where where the field of research is is is, is shared by lots of people. In in this case, that's not the case. So if I want to my yeah, the, if, to, for the state of the art to progress, I need to document very well what I find so that, so that we can later on, the next set team of researchers can, can start from, 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 where, from where I left off. Or, uh, yeah, it's often more sequential perhaps than, than concurrent research on, on minority languages. When I'm back, and especially at the end of a project, it's a matter of, of, of archiving the data and, and disseminating them. And then Edinburgh Data Share is, 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 a, is a valuable tool, is, is the tool to do that. It's a wonderful resource. So the interface uh, allows you to upload items yourself. And with the associated annotations, with all kinds of all kinds of metadata, in such a way that they are that it can be a self-contained item where where all the permissions are in place, and it's not it's not a one-way process. Often there there will be specific issues relating to to the kinds of data that you are using, and the the team at Edinburgh Data Share is is there to. Yeah, to, to address those challenges. So I've, I found it um, I found it very helpful to to have discussions with members of the Edinburgh Data Share team, so as to so as to ensure that that I provide the data in the in the best possible way, and they are very accommodating to 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 make sure that Edinburgh Data Share can accommodate the the data. Uh, the, the importance of, of sharing data for me, well, for, for me, it is, it is very important. I, I study a minority language, and there is very little research happening on this language. So I, I, I feel that I have a responsibility to make this, the, what, what I, the, both, both the data and the results, available in the, in the widest possible way and in the most accountable way. And that is what, what the Edinburgh Data Share uh, enables me to do. I also find it very useful to share the research, more, more, more specialized research data. For example, when I've, done, when I've uh, collected a, a, a data set of, of small sound clips to answer a specific nitty gritty question about the, the sound system of the Shilluk language, then Rather than just publishing a paper on it, what I prefer to do is to, is to publish the paper, but make, make the data set that on which the paper is based also public. And one exciting possibility is then that researchers who are interested in a 
totally unrelated questions can use the same data. And this comes back to the issue of, of Shiluk being a minority language uh, with, with so little research happening about it. So any opportunity, whatever I can do to, to pull in other researchers to kind of make, make the Shiluk language data available, um, yeah, it is for practical reasons many linguists are not so keen on traveling to South Sudan and to do to do uh, to collect research data there. So this in in that way Edinburgh Data Share makes it possible to get greater mileage out of out of a particular set of data and in unforeseeable ways.